Here's your cup of tea, Doug. Huh. How are you feeling? All right now. Good to be home. I really need to do what that nurse said about self-care and looking after myself so I can keep well and don't end up back in hospital. That's right. You need to look after yourself. Here's the booklet she gave you. Oh, yeah. The booklet has an action plan in the back. I'll stick it up on the fridge to remind me. What does the action plan say? I have to weigh myself every day, restrict my fluids, take my medicines and be active. And here it says I have to see the doctor or call the heart failure nurse if I gain more than two kilograms over two days or have worsening shortness of breath or my heart is beating very quickly or I feel dizzy or my angina is getting worse or I have increased swelling in my ankles or tummy or I'm coughing a lot. And this last section says I have to call an ambulance if I have severe shortness of breath or blackouts or have angina for more than 10 minutes, which is not relieved by rest or angina medicine. Let's sit down and finish our cup of tea. <sighs> I'm sure there's lots more information that the people in hospital talk to you about. What else do you have to do? I have to watch everything I drink. I can have one and a half litres a day. Now this cup holds 150 mils, so each time I use this cup, I know how much I'm drinking. So this is my second cup of tea today. I had a glass of water with my pills in hospital this morning and I remember I had some milk on my cereal. Is it going to be hard for you to remember <laughs> how much you've had to drink? Well, the dietitian had a good idea about using a jug that holds one and a half litres and just adding water into it every time I take some fluids. That might be easier, especially if I'm at home. Then I know how much I'm drinking during the day. What about if you get really thirsty? But what are you going to do then? Well, Sarah said I can suck on some ice or we can put some cut up oranges in the freezer and I can suck on those. Aren't you supposed to drink lots of water to stay healthy? Well, Sarah said it's a fine balance. If I drink too much, my shortness of breath and swelling may get worse. But if I don't drink enough, I could get dehydrated and then I'll feel a bit lightheaded. <laughs> she said I have to be careful how much I drink because the problem with my heart keeps making my body want to retain fluid all the time. And that's why the medicines are important, because they make my heart pump better and stop my body from retaining fluid. Now, what about your medicines? Oh. We have to sort them out. Yeah, but don't I'll... we have to put them in those boxes that the yeah. hospital pharmacist gave you? Yes, she gave me pill boxes and a list of all my medicines, when to take them, what they're for. And where's my bag from the hospital? Oh, here it is. Oh. Uh, I think I'd better sit at the kitchen table. I need space to sort everything out. We've seen how Doug learned about his action plan, limiting his fluid intake, and that his body tends to retain fluid. Now let's see how Doug manages his medicines.